Hello everyone, and welcome to the Why Does My Horse podcast series. In this series, we use science to answer some of the common questions you might have about your horse child. If you want to get to know your horse better, then this is the place for you. Let's get into it. It can be pretty annoying when we're honest about it. That relentless pawing as your horse digs a hole, apparently determined to begin their own excavation site. Why would your horse child do this? Is he bored, stressed, a natural born archaeologist? New research has been done on this behavior and the results are not what you might expect. A group of saddle braids were examined in the study and their pawing behavior was observed, documented and analyzed. To the surprise of the research team, pawing and hole digging was not associated in this study with boredom, stress, anticipation of food or excess energy. It was quite the opposite, in fact. The horses were more likely to paw after they had been exercised, less on days when they weren't exercised, and about two hours before feeding time. The researchers concluded that tiredness or physical exertion is the common factor in determining whether or not a horse will dig holes. They also stated that horses may be compensating for uneven ground and possibly discomfort in their bodies. If this makes you raise an eyebrow, you're not alone. It's a surprising finding to say the least and opens up a whole new avenue of discussion on a topic we probably took for granted. We should remember, however, that the study was performed on a small sample of horses under one set of circumstances. In research, we do our best not to confuse correlation with causation. In other words, just because two behaviors happen together doesn't mean that one causes the other. Perhaps the stress of being exercised manifests itself in pawing after exercise. Or perhaps the breed is more prone to anxiety and therefore more likely to paw under any circumstances. Interesting questions remain unanswered, such as why some horses perform the pawing motion but don't strike the ground, essentially just paddling uselessly with one leg. This behavior seems to fit the bull as a coping mechanism for stress, such as weaving or cribbing. Sometimes horses pour inside their food buckets, a behavior very similar to what we'd find if they were out foraging for some tasty green shoots in the soil. Some horses pour their water buckets, apparently liking to make a splash before they have a drink, such as horses would do if they were drinking from a dam or a river. Pouring and hole digging behavior are seen in such a variety of different circumstances and seem to serve a variety of functions, from stress relief to possibly misguided foraging behavior. The new study is very interesting and adds a new dynamic to the behavior of pawing and hole digging. Although it has its limitations, it is a great start to researching a very common behavior and it will be interesting to see where the discussion goes in the future. That's it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new about our incredible equine friends. I feel like it's compulsory to add that it would be great if you could like, share, comment and subscribe. We're also available on Apple Podcast as well as Podcast for Spotify.